All right, so one more example here, uh, sketching vectors. So part C, I'm going to sketch negative u minus v minus w. And again, I'm going to think about this as being uh, negative u plus negative v plus negative w. So the first thing I'm going to do is just kind of, again, think about what all of these vectors would look like. So vector u originally, um, that vector went two units to the left and four units down. So now negative u, if we reflect it, again, I can start these vectors anywhere we want. Um, but instead of going, so again, vector u originally went, uh, so four units down, two to the left. It's now going to go two to the right and four units upwards. So that would be our vector negative u. Again, I could draw this vector anywhere in the plane. I try to keep emphasizing that, so sorry if I sound like a broken record. But again, a vector is independent of its position, okay? So I can start it wherever I want to. All right, negative v, uh, or, well, v originally we went three units to the right and one unit up. So now um, to sketch negative v, Instead of going three units to the right, I would go three units to the left. And instead of going one unit up, I would go one unit down. So there would be a little uh, example of the vector negative v. And let's see, we've already seen what negative w would look like. Um, instead of going four units upwards, it would go four units down. Okay, so there's negative w. And now all I'm going to do is just uh, do this little tip-to-tail trick like we've uh, seen before. Okay, so if we do negative u, again, if I start at the origin, I would end up at the point 2, comma, 1, 2, 3, 4. I would end up right there. All right, then if we add on to that the vector negative v, well, negative v actually says go three units to the left and one unit down. So I'll go uh, one unit, two unit, two units, uh, three units to the left, and one unit down. So this would now be the vector, the vector um, negative v. Again, the original one was negative u. So let's see, this point in the plane, uh, let's even label. If this was originally the point 2, comma, 4, Again, we went three units to the left, so we'll be at negative one. We went one unit down, so we'll be at negative one comma three. And now if we add on to that the vector negative w, again, that just says go four units downwards. So since we're at the y-coordinate of three, we'll end up at the y-coordinate of negative one. So let's go down. And now um, to get my final answer, we just look at where we started, which was the origin. We look at where, where we stopped, which is at the point um, negative 1, comma, negative 1. I play connect the dots, and that is going to be our solution. So let me draw it one more time. So the vector negative u uh, minus v minus w, we could represent that as a vector that starts at the origin. And then it just goes one unit to the left and one unit downwards. So our vector, again, will just look just like that.